Welcome to our lecture online. So in the previous video we mentioned that when the core collapsed, something arrested the collapse of the core. And it was a combination of two things. It was the nuclear strong force pushing back as well as the neutron degeneracy. So the question is, what is neutron degeneracy? So what happens is when you bring neutrons too close together, when you try to push them too, too close together, there's some pressure that builds up trying to push back and that's what we call neutron degeneracy. It's essentially the problem is that we can't have two neutrons occupying the same space just like you can't have two electrons occupying the same space and we might be more familiar with that concept. It's called the Pauli exclusion principle which we have right here which says that if two electrons have this very same four quantum numbers you cannot have the two electrons occupying the same space. In other words, for two electrons to be in the same orbital around the nucleus of an atom, they have to have at least one of their quantum numbers different. And so in other words, that's why we have a spin-up and a spin-down electron occupying the same space in the same orbital around the nucleus. So two, neutro two neutrons with the very same quantum state cannot occupy the same space. Essentially, what is a neutron? A neutron is a small little nuclear particle, a nucleon, which consists of three quarks, one up quark and two down quarks. Now the up quark has a plus two-thirds charge and the down quarks either have a minus one-thirds charge. So when you add those up, you can see that that would be a neutral particle, which a neutron is a neutral particle. And the quarks have kind of a dual force within them in that they repel each other, but they also attract each other. So if you try to pull the quarks further apart, they will pull back. If you try to push them close together, they will push back. They form a particle like a neutron of that specific size. The size is around 1.6 times 10 to the 15th meters. Oh, not 15. That would be a huge one. How about minus 15 meters? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very big neutron indeed. So 1.6 times 10 to the minus 15 meters in diameter, which is the stable size of a neutron. Now when you try to push two neutrons together, you also of course have to fight against the forces of the quarks, which actually go beyond the boundary of the quark itself, so there would become an interaction there. And so that's part of the, the principle that you cannot push two quarks in the same space. So that's part of what arrests the collapse of a core when a supernova explosion occurs. Now, it turns out that some calculations were done and it was estimated that can only account for upholding a mass of a neutron star, remember a neutron star is about 12 miles across or 20 kilometers across, that if the mass did not exceed 0.7 times the mass of the sun, and we know that the mass of a neutron star falls somewhere between 1 and 2.5 times the mass of the sun. So we know that neutron degeneracy alone cannot stop the collapse of a core. There must be some other force, and we know what that other force is. That other force is the repulsive forces of the nuclear strong force. And we'll get into that in the next video. But at least this is half the equation. Half the uh, rest of the collapse is done by the neutron degeneracy. The other half is done by the nuclear strong force. And we'll get to that on the next video. But that is how it's done. in order for the core to become a neutron star, correct? So the core isn't eight times the mass of the sun. The whole star is. If the star isn't big enough, then the core isn't big enough to make a neutron star. So when it becomes a neutron star, then, it only be, then it's only 0.7 the mass of the sun? No, we know that when it becomes a neutron star, it's somewhere between one and two and a half times the mass of the sun. So we discovered that the neutron degeneracy cannot account for the complete, it cannot act alone in arresting the collapse of the core. Something else has to help it. It's part of the repulsive forces, but it doesn't provide enough. So since we know that the neutron stars are bigger than this, there must be another force besides the neutron degeneracy to stop the collapse of that core. What is it? The nuclear strong force. So we need another video for that. Nuclear strong force has a mass? No, nuclear strong force prevents the core from collapsing. Then where, the, where does the missing mass go? No, 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 no. This is just the, the neutron degeneracy can only stop
the core, if it has a mass of 0.7 times the mass of the sun. Anything bigger than that, the core will not be stopped by that alone. You need another force to help out. It's kind of like two people pushing instead of one person pushing. That's the difference. All right. Thank you. Clarifies it.